telecommunication system so in advanced uh, telecommunication uh, line upgrade the technologies are generated from the very beginning one press generation to the current second and third generation even if there is uh, the, the current generation is the fifth generation so starting from the uh, uh, first generation 1g to 5g so this is all about the integration or the generation of the uh, technology in the telecommunication system so it's not our scope but in here particular lesson we'll see about the hcl hcl is nothing which is asymmetric digital subscriber line so in this particular lecture we'll see only the the, the, the versatile application areas of this hcl it's, it's already known which is particularly applicable in telecommunication center but what are the building blocks of hcl and what are the architecture looks like the the hcl architecture looks like are the main and the typical point today uh, we'll cover in this particular uh, lecture so let's start our class uh, from the definition of the hcl so hcl is a form of dcl so which is this a indicates asymmetric digital subscriber line whereas dsl is, uh, is only digital uh, uh, subscriber line so here which means that the data communication technology that enables faster data transmission over a copper uh, telephone wire so which means that this hcl hcl uh, transmits a data from uh, uh, one server to another server or from the the, the the server to the user through the uh, uh, telecommunication hardwiring system so called copper uh, wire so through that wire we are uh, working for the speed within how much megabyte per second data will transfer from a uh, server to the user and how much data in a figure that the the, the end user uh, consume per second is a very important point we have to raise in this hcl uh, lecture so the data is transferred through the the so-called the copper wire here which is a hard wire which is a copper telephone line there is a line through that line the data will transfer in a very fast speed so uh, the average the average providing capacity for the hcl is uh, sometimes up to uh, 50 megabyte per second so which is a very important thing we have to know about the, the capacity that provided from the hcl center so suppose that a system is uh, capable of connecting this particular feature hcl it's a maximum uh, 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 internet providing capacity is 50 megabytes per second in order to support voice data video data and voice video and data so data is so-called internet video and uh, uh, voice are in the form of digital form so here d stands for a digital so this all things are uh, uh, partially uh, transmitted from uh, uh, transmitter to the user through a digital means there is no analog uh, implementation inside this hcl so voice video and data this here voice video and the data all are uh, uh, transmitted through the digital um, means and which is uh, capable of providing 50 megabyte per second so the current generation the current consumption of this hcl is hcl is the number one broadband choice in the entire planet of the earth but the share is uh, somewhat uh, uh, 55 up to 60 percent in the market share so when we look about the market structure the market share of the hcl with other uh, internet technology it ranges from uh, so-called 55 up to 60 percent of the market share and again hcl is available in every region in the entire planet of the earth so it's very important thing even if wherever you are hcl technology is currently applicable in the entire planet of the earth but the degree is about the the, the, the capacity it's, 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 it's all about the capacity but its presence is in the entire uh, planet of the earth so the other thing we have to raise in here is uh, uh, 
what does HCL stand for? HCL, as uh, we've seen uh, before, uh, this asymmetric is symmetric. A stands for symmetric, D stands for digital, and SL is stands for subscriber line. So in here, subscriber line, digital, and asymmetric platforms are the very popular meaning that stands the name ADCL. So this ADCL A is asymmetric, so the data can flow faster in a one direction. So asymmetric means the data is not transferred through two direction or through by direction within one direction flow only and the data transmission has been passed up at the very beginning so streams there are streams downstream and upper stream so the data in the downstream is somewhat uh, faster than the as lower uh, upper stream which means that the capacity in the downstream is higher than the capacity in the upper stream here so let's say uh, we'll see in the in the, in the coming uh, slide so the downstream the capacity in uh, kilobyte or in the megabyte is higher than the capacity in the upstream here. so most of the time in the advanced feature especially in the academic class for the postgraduate uh, uh, students uh, under the masters and phd program we are uh, exposed to uh, identify the, the the streams so this stream uh, uh, manipulation or the stream uh, design mechanism is one of the most important things. So we have to speed up our uh, uh, data capacity in both streams, in the upstream as well as in the downstream here. So the next thing we'll see is A stands for asymmetric, D stands for digital, and S stands for a subscriber line. So digital it means that what I mentioned before, since uh, the, the system is uh, the, the digital platform, which means that there is no analog. The data can transmit it in only digital uh, or in, in, in a pure digital platform. There is no analog communic communication inside the, the system here. The analog method is not uh, supported in this LCL. It's, it's already uh, digital. And the only only at the end and the modulator to be carried out over the line so which means that in digital this di digital stands for our system or the data all the data is purely digital subscriber line line is as uh, all about uh, uh, copper so the means of uh, th the data transmitted means is since it is a single wire twisted copper so it is uh, a solid state device but the communication system uh, passed through this uh, uh, single twisted fair copper loop to the subscriber promise. So this is uh, uh, what HCL stands for. So the next thing is the HCL uh, stands here, the standard name, common name, downstream rate and upstream rate here. I mentioned in here uh, before in the HCL uh, definition. So the data in the downstream is much more higher than the, the data in the uh, uh, upstream so at the very first the downstream the data is very faster which means 8 megabyte per second which means uh, suppose that when i'm using my phone and i'm uh, downloading some uh, capacity of uh, pdf or video or some audio audio video visual uh, document from the internet in the downstream uh, my phone is generating to download 8 megabyte bits per second and in the upstream which is only one so which mean that there are uh, uh, international tu g992.1 the common name is this one and it's downstream data is this one and it's upstream data is like that so mostly uh, we have to conclude that when the downstream uh, data uh, downloading capacity is increasing or it is higher it's upstream is lower including its common name so we have to know about its common name and its standard name so this is an important portion but the only thing we have to know is always in the downstream rate and in the